Hey, what's up guys, Stefan here. So, I just bought a sick set of 808 bases. So I thought, why not give them a test run and make a beat? So I'm gonna make the beat from scratch and then at the end, we'll look a bit more at the finer details and do a kind of breakdown of what I've done. I'll also show you where to get the 808 bases and also the trap template that I'm using for this beat. Cool, so that's enough talking. I've already got all my sounds selected, so let's get right to it. So I've got this nice EP sound from Alchemy to start off with, and I've tweaked it just a little bit to just hollow it out, you know, and make it sound a bit more airy. All right, so now I'm gonna add a bit of percussion and I've put together a few different samples and I've applied a low pass filter and I'm gonna create a pattern with these ones right now. Okay, so I made another kit in battery, uh, this time with a nice round 808 kick and this weird percussion sound that I'm using for a snare. Right, so now I've got the 808 basses that I mentioned earlier. The one I'm using right now is just one of many sounds, but we'll take a look at some of the other ones a bit later. Okay, so to round it up, I've got this nice sounding synth again from Alchemy. Man, I had a lot of fun making that beat. Now we have the chance to take a closer look at a few parts worth taking a look at. Up top here, you can see I used a tempo of 112 beats per minute and I played in the key of A minor. I built the beat on a four bar loop as you heard and then from that four bar loop, I created this arrangement. I called the beat Aquamarine as it kind of has this underwater vibe to it, this nautical vibe and I coloured the regions accordingly. Anyways, let's take a look at some points of interest. Earlier, I mentioned that I applied a low pass filter to my percussion, meaning I removed some of the high frequencies. I did this as a way to push the percussion a little further back from the rest of the music. You can create this effect by using reverb too, but there's no reverb on this beat. I'm actually yet to start mixing this track, but this was an important characteristic for the percussion. I've heard this kind of percussion loop in the background of a lot of tracks in this genre recently, and it's what inspired me. I also added a chorus effect on it to give it extra width. If you're wearing headphones, you would have really heard the difference there. You can pick up this audio unit for free as well. Check the link in the description below. For the hi-hats, I'm using my Trap Drums template Trap Attack DMD. In addition to Drum Machine Designer's normal functionality, it allows you to adjust the rate of roll of up to six samples. You can learn more about it via the link in the description below or on screen right now. Lastly, for the 808 bases, I'm using Urban 808 Contact Library, an 808 library designed to use with contact. 
it has an array of different 808 types, dirty, clean, with portamento, aka glide, and much, much more. If that's not enough, it has a bunch of settings that let you tweak your sounds too. In terms of 808 basses, it's safe to say that this is all you'll need going forward. Just to let you know, you do need to own Contact first before purchasing and downloading this. And that's it guys. Remember, you can download the 808 basses and the Trap Drums template that I'm using in this beat from the link in the description below or on screen right now. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, drop a comment in the comment section below if you learned something new and subscribe for more videos just like this. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.